To find out what happened, let's zoom in on this magnet. Inside a magnet, each atom has its own magnetic moment, which means you can think of it like its own little magnet or compass. If one atom's moment points up, its neighbors tend to point that way too, since this lowers the system's overall potential energy. Therefore, at low temperatures, you get large regions called domains where all the moments align. And when many of these domains also align, their individual magnetic fields reinforce to create an overall field around the magnet. But if you heat up the magnet, each atom starts vibrating vigorously. The moments flip up and down, and so the alignment can break down. And when all the moments cancel out, then there's no longer a net magnetic field. Now, if you have the right equipment, you can balance any magnetic material right on that transition point, right between magnetic and non-magnetic. This is called the critical point, and it occurs at a specific temperature called the Curie temperature. I asked Casper and the team to build a simulation to show what's going on inside the magnet at this critical point. Each pixel represents the magnetic moment of an individual atom, 